or something. We're going to be decorating these Japanese balls. You can see I have them in all sizes. Big and small. I like this painter. His name is Jackson Pollock. And he has a very cool technique of painting. He puts himself standing up and they let the paint drip on the canvas. But we're not using canvas themselves. We're using these. Like this video if you think it looks like a donut. You're going to need, obviously, some paint. I chose three colors, but you could choose all the colors that you want. Like, you could even choose seven colors. And I also got some water, because Jackson Pollock's paint, it was liquid, so it could drop off the paintbrush onto the canvas. And we'll also need a chopstick to stir. You don't have to use a chopstick, you just can use a stick. And you'll also need some paint brushes to drip your paint on. And also a tiny one for the tiny details. And obviously your balls. This is what it looks like when it's done. So now I'm going to take my paint brush and make my paint drip all over the ball. to the black paint. The black paint is really solid, see? It's not dripping at all. So we're going to put a bit more water and the brown, it was a bit so, a bit solid. So we're just going to add a bit more to what we added. And now since the chopstick's dirty and there's less and there's less paint in in the black paint. Then we're just gonna use this, the paintbrush. Mix it until it's all combined. one side of our balls and we need to make it dry. So, see you in a couple of hours. So, now it's time to paint the other side. But before, I have something very important to tell you. When you paint your balls when they're flat, when they're all painted and they're not dry yet, you need to unfold them a little bit like this. Otherwise, they're going to stick the two parts together and you will not be able to unfold them and that's not fun.
cooking is done, we're going to make the ball round. So, you just see, this is what it looks like when it's round. So I'm just going to stick my little thing, put it through here. I'm going to make it tall. Now you're going to put this little circle that's right here onto the metal piece. And now, your ball will stay round. So, I just realized there was not a lot of paint on this side, as you see. Not a lot of paint in the middle. So, we're going to paint it now. So, you're just going to take your side like this. And then you're going to splatter. Subscribe and click the like if you like these balls. See you in my next video. Bye guys!